Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Clickview Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a Clickview learner, and in this video, I will talk about the stack bar chart. In my earlier video, uh, which I have posted four weeks back so on YouTube, I have uh, created a bar chart video to show you the general properties of the bar chart. So you can uh, first go through this video if you are not aware about the bar chart and how to create it from the scratch in click view you can view this video and uh, you know enhance your knowledge in creating the chart and in this video i am going ahead and uh, creating a stack bar chart so let's look at some data here which we have uh, used used for the stack bar chart so one of the scenario is uh, we want to see a company sales and its projection in just one bar to measure how much uh, projected uh, sales still needs to be done in a particular year. So for example in year 2008 projected sales is zero because we have achieved it entirely and in 2009 we see some projected sales figure in compare to the actual achieved sales figure. So let's go ahead and right click on the blank area, go to new sheet object and click on the chart. All right, so we have this first chart as bar chart. We will select this, we click on next. So here we will pick our value, which will be our X axis value on which we will uh, create the bar chart. So that will be year. So this year information, we'll click add and uh, we will remove all the null values if there is any so we will enable this and we click on next now we will enter our formulas so one formula to sum the sales and one formula to sum the projected sales all right so let's enter sum and the bracket and we will enter sales okay and uh, we will say it as label as sales we will add another expression which will be sum of projection projected okay so we will say it as projection click on next again next to come into this style section and here uh, we have a subsection called subs type we will click or enable this stacked option so that will change the look and feel of the chart from a normal group chart to a stacked chart. So for now we click on finish and here is our small stack bar chart. So you can see that's how simple it is to create a stacked bar chart in this video. So I hope you will find this video useful. So I'll meet you in the next video with a new chart. Thank you.